Hi guys, so um, time for my video blog number three, um, and I'm going to do this one with no hat on at all, um, just so you can see. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see, but I have got little bits of hair regrowing around here. Um, so I'm on the mend. I finished four weeks ago yesterday, was my last, um, uh, last radiotherapy session. Um, and I did the, that was the day I did one of the video blogs. Um, I've had so much good feedback so far, um, but I didn't want to do another one until I knew how I was getting on. Um, and like I said before, obviously fatigue was pretty bad. Um, that continued to get much worse um, and the tremors were awful. Um, today, I managed to set my drum kit up, um, but I didn't get a chance to actually play it because by the time I'd finished setting it up, I was so exhausted um, that I just didn't have the energy for it at all. Um, but it does look good up in my uh, up in my room. Um, I'm currently staying at my parents' house. I'm back and forth between here and my flat in Crystal Palace, but um, I'm having physiotherapy appointments at. Uh, guys hospital um, and they've given me like a fatigue diary to fill in so this is what it looks like you won't be able to see it it's probably going to be backwards but you basically write in here what activities you've done each day or what time and then you give yourself a fatigue score at the bottom um, so I did one for the first two weeks um, but I forgot to fill it in so I filled it all in on one day and then I couldn't remember all the stuff I'd done so that was a bit of a disaster um, so we're doing it again. The real reason for this kind of video update is because yesterday I had an appointment with my um, oncologist. Um, she basically, I'm going private for my chemotherapy. Um, so this was my appointment with her to find out what's actually going to happen. I got a tour of the private section of the hospital, which is on the top floor of the same building that I was going to for... Uh, radiotherapy anyway. Um, there is a chemotherapy floor which is two floors down um, which I haven't actually seen. Um, now I get private health insurance through my work anyway so the chemotherapy is covered by that. If anything were to go wrong or I were to get an infection or anything like that there'd be a bed ready and waiting for me. So they took my blood and my weight uh, and I'm the heaviest I've ever been right now um, but I think that's partly because I'm still on steroids, but I should be off them by the end of next week. About three weeks after radiotherapy finished, I had the worst day that I'd had so far. Um, I've been to see my sister and my nephew, um, and he's just turned one, so he's very exhausting anyway. We were there for a good few hours, and then when we got back to my parents' house, uh, my mum said I looked a bit swollen, like my face looked a bit puffy. I can't even remember what, what happened, but it ended up with me and Rory, my partner, and my mum all just in tears in my bedroom, like just crying. <laughs> um, so no matter how positive you are through the whole process, no matter what happens, you are going to have a day or two where you're not going to feel great. You're going to feel horrible and you're going to think, you know, why, why is this happening to me? and you know you just want you just want to be better but more than that is and this is a really horrible one actually is a feeling of guilt um because i could see how much it was affecting my boyfriend and my mum and obviously my dad and my sisters and all my friends and family around me and i feel i feel really bad for that um, and i know i shouldn't and i know that it's, it's a really silly thing to do, but I've spoken to other people who are going through the same thing and they all agree. And they said sometimes it's actually easier to have to go through it than it is to watch someone else go through it. Um, so there's that feeling of guilt, which is a really hard one to explain to people. And um, my, friend, my friend Claire and I have a joke because um, everyone always says, oh, you're so selfless for worrying about everyone else. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I am. I'm really, you know, 
I'm I'm just I'm just that that kind of guy. And then I said to Claire, I was like, actually, it's just really selfish because it means that I don't have to worry about you know someone else going through it. Because if it was my mom or um, you know a member of my family or my boyfriend or you know Claire, um, I'd be so much more worried, like so much more worried about them um, because I feel in control of what's going on with me. Um, my tremors, oh that was the other thing I was going to say, my tremors are getting better um, unless I have done something that's really, really worn me out. So today, setting the drum kit up really, really did exhaust me and uh, it, this is the first time I felt like the tremors throughout my whole body, so like my knees were feeling it and my hands were going. Um, so. I think the important thing is to remember that you can only do as much as your body lets you do um, and the healing time is different for everyone. Um, also my consultant said to me yesterday that uh, between four and six weeks after radiotherapy um, a lot of people do kind of take a bit of a back step before you know really starting to feel better. Positivity is still here, um, I am having the odd day here and there where it is a struggle um, but I've got friends and family around me if I need them um, and if I can't talk to them um, I know that I've got the Brains Trust is there as well so if I needed to email them um, or phone them and just ask for advice or anything like that um, I always know that they're there and, uh, and more than willing to help um, so that's a good one to remember um, you can, their website is brainstrust.org, I think, um, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. See ya.